Hey guys, Marisa Inta here with Juggernaut Training Systems and a common question we get is how do I warm up to work up to a top set? So what you want to do is make sure you're doing enough to be warm but not doing so much that you're overly fatigued and you can't complete the top set. Today I have a top set of bench and I'm going to show you how I work up to that to make sure that I'm ready but not overly fatigued. up to make sure you're warming up the exact same way you're going to do your top set. So a lot of times people do the bar and they do it any old way. They don't set up the same way that they're going to do their top set. So make sure you make every warm up set count just as much as your top set. Oh, I think the other question people always ask is how long should I wait between sets? Oh yeah, so uh, between warm up sets, you know, the, like bar to 40 kilos for Marissa is like nothing. So it's kind of just put the weights on and do the next set, put the next the weights on, do the next set. And then as you get you know, further out into your heavier warm-up sets, closer to your work sets, then you can take maybe, you know, one to two minutes, two to three minutes. The stronger you are, the longer the rest is gonna be. And between your last warm-up set and your top set, you know, that could be three to eight minutes, depending on the lift, three to 10 minutes. You know, bench is gonna be shorter than squat, which is gonna be shorter than deadlift. Someone Marissa's size, even as strong as she is, is not gonna be taking as long a rest as I would be, or the former me. doing less reps, so you'll notice like the bar was like 10, then like eight, six, three, two, and then I'll start doing like doubles and singles all the way up to the top set number. If you're newer to lifting and doing top set, to kind of take in your training log and write notes about what your warm-ups are so you know what those jumps are. Oftentimes when I have clients and I'm like, well, what, how do you typically warm up? And they have no idea. They kind of just change it every single time that they're training. So kind of have an idea. Are you taking two and a half kilo jumps, five kilo jumps, 10 kilo jumps? This way, as you're planning your top set and your warm-up strategy, you kind of have an idea of already what you're doing. So you notice I don't take a handoff, um, and that's because in IPF and USAPL, you cannot have your handoff person. So if I got really used to Chad taking the bar out for me, he can't be there at meets. And a lot of times when you go to the international meets, you have spotters and loaders that are from foreign countries and you don't necessarily always speak English. So it makes it very hard to then explain how you want your bar handed to you. So I just eliminate that variable and I self handoff. So it's definitely good to learn just in case you're ever gonna be and you just have a bad handoff person. So if you're going to a top uh, single particularly, getting used to the commands that you'll have in a meet uh, should be something that you do, especially in the bench when it is you know, longer pauses if you're in USAPL, IPF affiliates. So on this top set, I'll give Marissa a start, press, and rack command. So make sure you know the commands for the federation that you compete in and uh, get comfortable with them during training so you don't even really have to think about it in a meet. I had Jed give me a fast press command today. Well, 
Start. Press. Wrap. Dang. You did. Normally, I think that you just disregard my, my commands and go on your own schedule. I think most people don't listen to their coaches anyway. That's true. Well, I listen to you all the time. Just not your press commands. Yeah, just not your press commands. I, the worst press command I ever got was from this IPF lifter. He was head judge at, was it Nationals? Yes. IPF lifter was Dave Ricks. Dave Ricks, <laughs> who I love him, super strong, but I swear to God, he fell asleep in the chair and the bar was on my chest for like five minutes. Like three, yeah. Legit <laughs> 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000 to get a press command. <laughs> if you ever see Dave in that head chair for bench, adjust your opener. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for following along with my training today. I hope that you found this information useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and get the Juggernaut AI app on Android or Apple.